Hi Flosstube, it's me, Gleeza from Made with Glee. You probably don't remember me because uh, you haven't seen a video from me in about three months and you probably forgot about me completely because there's so many new great Flosstubers to watch. Um, I myself personally am behind watching Flosstube videos. The last, uh, I can honestly say that the last videos I watched were in the month of April. So that gives me two whole months of videos I have not watched from basically anyone. Um, I have over 600 subscriptions on my YouTube channel. Not all cross-stitching, of course. I, ha I have other interests, so there's quilting and knitting and cooking and cleaning and random other crafts. But I'm sure you can imagine what my watch later list looks like. So. Um, I don't know how I'm going to tackle that. I'm thinking I'm just going to start from your last video uh, that I see posted and just watch that one and go from there. Um, there's no way I'm catching back up and I believe I'm going to miss a lot of things. Um, I will definitely try to watch those uh, Stitch StitchCon and the... Uh, what was it, the New Jersey stitching retreat videos. I will definitely try to make an effort to at least watch a few of those to see all the good stuff that I miss. But other than that, um, your personal videos, and of course you guys know I don't watch Stitch With Me just because I don't have the time. Um, I'm going to have to try to get those in based on the last one that you post, basically. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, I've been gone for the past three months. Um, not it. I didn't plan it to, to be that long. I really didn't. Life has just been insane. Um, it's one thing after the other. Uh, I mentioned in my last video, everything that could go wrong is going wrong. And it continues to do so. But um, again, in my last video, I mentioned you just got to keep going. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to admit that I am using Flosstube and you guys to... Um, I'm using you. You're an outlet for me. Um, I, it's it's been rough, and I'm in a bad place. But um, crafting uh, and talking about crafting is a, is a release for me. And um, you know the support that this community gives. It you know just look at my stitching and say you like my stitching, and that will make my day. And that's pretty much what we get from each other. And that's what I love about this community. So I apologize again for, on my end, for not being able to, to reciprocate and give you guys that love and support that I'm asking from you. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm making a video today because I'm close to rock bottom, but we're, we're going to keep going and it's going to just get better from here on. I mean, you, you have to hit bottom before you can get to the top, right? You know, whatever. Anyhow, um, what else? Uh... Since March, well, in the videos I saw in April, I know a lot of people were pregnant, about to have babies, or later, going to be due later on, so I just want to say congratulations to all those new mommies, enjoy every single minute of your babies, regardless of whatever age they are, love your children, and support them no matter what their choices and what they do in life, um, you just got to be there for them. You make these wonderful little people, and make them into the best people that you can. And that's it. Anyhow, so what have I been up to? I have a lot to show you guys. Um, I'm going to start, though, before I start showing you stuff. I Again, I want to apologize. Three months waiting for you guys who um, entered my giveaway for the past the stash stuff. And I did pull the winners for that. Um, I, t I make these videos in one shot, so I'm sorry I did it the random number generator thing beforehand and I don't have hundreds of people um, for the stitching angel we had four people who wanted stitching angel and the backward stitcher congratulations it's yours I'm gonna leave a comment on your comment and of how you can contact me and I'll get this out to you Corinthians um, Two people were, in, were interested in this, and this goes to Carla J. Figaro. Congratulations, Carla. And then I had uh, the wedding sampler thing, and three people were interested in uh, the wedding sampler, and this goes to Sherry Love Stitching. 
So I'm going to leave a message in all of your comments of how you can reach me and I will get these out to you right away. Um, I guess before I go further I should just tell you what I have to pass the stash with for the next one. Um, just, uh, I guess, actually I'll show it to you at the end because, you know, then we'll talk about what question and all that stuff. So what have I been up to? Um, let's start. Well, this is my Priscilla and Chelsea inspired piece that I've been showing you guys. I made what it was, Merry, Winter, no, I think I did Spooky first, Merry, and then Winter. And this is Spring. Now, let me back up so you can get up. This is uh, three glass vases in a bottle I bought from Michaels on clearance. A while ago it was supposed to be four bottles so I got this thing for really cheap because there's only three um, this is spring with my magnets and there it goes um, that's from just cross stitch magazine I believe these are all from last year there was a series in it last year and for this I have these um, dollar store flower artificial flowers in here, the bow, a little sprig, and this is my Chelsea and Priscilla inspired because of the magnets, um, spring piece. Now, um, obviously it's summer. So what I have to show you, what I've done, and I just finished this up last night, and I'm actually going to do this for you live. Pardon me. I'm going to do this for you live. Uh, and these bottles are all toppling. So what I do is I'll simply go ahead and take out the flowers for spring. I'm going to pop in and I'll fidget and arrange all of these things later. But I'm just going to go ahead and pop in some yellow flowers for summer into my bottle and we're gonna go ahead and remove spring and we are gonna put on summer which as soon as I can line up these magnets okay uh oh magnets we're doing this live so well not live live but you know what I mean um without okay I'm gonna have to change these magnets I put on sheet magnets and these are not holding on on spring I put on the other magnets the one the kind that um and yes people masking tape um, I've used masking tape on the back of my cross stitch to, to stick it on these sticky boards forever um, it's easy to peel off and I've moved them before so whatever that's not an issue so spring sticks on fairly easy but I'm having a problem with this strip I guess it's not making very good contact with my magnets oh there we go it stuck nope it didn't alrighty so people guess what I will be doing I will be re-gluing magnets to this but this is what my summer Priscilla and Chelsea inspired piece is supposed to look like so that's that. Let me put this out of the way. Look, it stays perfectly fine. I'm probably going to leave it. Who knows? So uh, that's one of my projects that I finished. Also, since I last saw you, I did do a needlework project. And that would be this pillow. This is a Vervaco, Vervaco, however you say that company. This is one of their needlepoint or quick point uh, kits and I think I took like a week to do this and I made it into a envelope style, envelope, whatever, overlapping style pillow. Um, so that was another finish since you last saw me. Well, okay. Also, since you last saw me, this is the other Priscilla and Chelsea inspired piece. Um, 
this is a stand I got from Michaels. I think Priscilla even has something similar to this. Um, these are the Just Crust Stitch Mini Bunnies from this year. So this is the bunny for the month of June. And it has yellow flower. And again, they get these things from the dollar store and a little ribbon. And after that last experience trying to change that out, I was going to try to change out this month's for you, but I think I'm just going to skip that because it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. Um, so we had March. Um, April you didn't see. This was April showers. And I just sticked this with double-sided tape onto some um, scrapbook paper. So this would be for April. This was the month of May. And for April and May, I had uh, this bow. This was the bow I used um, with pink and uh, purple accents on this frame. So that was May, April, May, and now June. And of course, I have July finished up last yesterday, stitched. And for July, I'm going to be switching out the yellow and adding in this um, floral sprig from the dollar store. So I guess you you can picture it, but I'm not going to try to take this out and do this right now. It's going to end up taking me much longer, and I'm going to end up having to fuss with it. So we're just going to skip that process, but you can see um, what I've been up to with my Just Cross Stitch Bunnies. Okay, what else have I been up to? Um, let me grab, okay. Uh, the last video, I told you I finished Connie G's Rainbow Mystery Style from last year, but I had forgot to bring it over to show you. Here it is. The spaces that you see in the center, I plan on putting um, gemstones in there. And I haven't decided. I've been looking at several different gemstones and I haven't decided what I wanted to do sew on or glue on. I had initially wanted to do um, the birthstones for my family, which are garnet and peridot in here. And um, I haven't found stones or sequins or beads that I like enough to commit to. So this is still um, not fully finished and it won't be until I make that decision on what I'm gonna do with those. And I have a collection of them. I like I just I put it on and I'm like oh no 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 and then I go back again and I change my mind. Besides that, what else have I done? Okay, uh, one of my longest projects that I've been working on the Lost and Found, um, you've heard the story, uh, To Everything's a Season. Uh, the kit is actually called All Seasons um, Stamp Cross Stitch Project. It's finally finished, people. Woohoo! Now you're going to notice something on here. This thing had 1998. 10 years of dirt on it, so I decided to wash it. There was rings, there was 10 years of dirt. It was in, a, in the attic at my old house, and this is Florida, so it needed to be washed. I washed it, and of course, the reds and the oranges bled. Yep. So there's some marks on there. I mean, you have, you'll see them. You, I'm sure you can see them. Cross stitches will see them. My husband says, ah, it's not a big deal. But I see them, and I know other cross stitches will definitely see the bleed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a... Well, I'm going to go get Michael's, Joanne, somebody to cut me a round mat. That's my idea, so I can come as close as possible to the stitching before I frame it. And um, I think it would look good in a round mat in a square frame right no you could see that right so that's what I'm thinking of doing I haven't decided fully yet but I'm glad it's finally finished 1998 to 2018 it took me long enough 
and yay it's done it's out of my no no more stamp cross stitch projects for a very very long time I do have several stamp cross stitch kits still in my stash and I like the designs and I'm thinking maybe one day I'll do them but not for a very long time okay what else have I worked on um the baby sampler babies okay I had a talk with all of my family members and we've come to the conclusion well not conclusion I decided and I told them all that I will definitely make your baby a baby sampler but record but I cannot promise that the kid will get it until he's the kid will get it between his first and fifth birthday how's that so I'm giving myself some time I'm buying time because yeah, you guys, nine months, they find out they're pregnant, they don't tell you immediately. I mean, you may be, you know, be a month into it before you know, sometimes even three months into it before you figure out that your family's pregnant. And I, there's no way I'm doing these things in six months or less. So, here is my nephew's birth sampler. I've been, it's unfinished. His name and his personal details are not on here. That's going to be a real quick stitch. I just did not want to put that on there to put it out there for you guys well, for the world, not you guys. It's not that I don't trust floss tubers in general. I just mean the whole internet to see all of my nephew's personal birth details. So that's not on here, but this is done. Quite happy with it. Um, I told you I've stitched this three times. And on this one, I've, there were several changes made due to error. Um, threads being mixed up, but it worked out and it's fine I actually ran out of thread and had to call um, who owns them Wilton now owns all these cross stitch companies uh, is it Janlin well w Wilton is the company that owns it so they suggested this other blue color so you can see you can totally see the difference in there but these two blues were supposed to be the same they are not but I don't care his name is going right over all of that it's done so, little sports baby sampler. And if you buy the kit and if you still find it, it's, there's definitely enough thread in there. I had my own issues and lost it. Um, what else? Happily Ever After. I don't recall if I showed this to you in my last video or not, but it is also fully finished. Well, not fully finished. It is finished, not fully finished. Um... I wanted to put this one and Storytime Classics and what's the other one? There was another one, book related. I wanted to do them all in the same frame, same style, uh, to have them in my library slash guest room. So um, I have one of the other one finished for Storytime Classics from last year. This one is now done and I still have not started the other the original story one which I think is like the kitty stories um, the one with Jack and Jill and Jack and Jill no that's the one with little red riding head and I'm confused but you know frosted pumpkin citrus they have three of these story time things I have to finish I want to do the third and then put them all in the library together um, near all my books so quite happy with them. I love their designs. They're so cute. Even the bigger ones are they're a joy to stitch up. Okay, what else did I do? Queen Bee. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. Their clearance sale. Super, super cheap. Um, I finished on the frame. The hoop as it was shown. Added the yellow and black ribbon felt on the back and we have our queen bee also I have an I didn't bring the book did I no did I did I I'm sorry I did not okay I have a booklet um, it's when everyone was going through the sampler craze remember my last video was in March so you guys know I, I'm, I'm throughout the time so this was between March and April when I was watching videos still and everyone was going through the sampler craze um, I'm not into big samplers I'm definitely not into the 
heirloom, the old fashioned stuff. But I did find this book in my stash. It is um, a series of a series of these mini samplers, seasonal mini samplers. So this is the first one I did. Um, spring. Uh, it says it has the numbers one to zero, one, two, three, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then it has from the garden they awake flower bouquets for to make spring. So there's one that has summer, which continues with the next set of numbers, four, five, six, seven. The rest is another set of letters and another verse of the poem. I plan to do each one in each season and then have four of these little mini samplers to make into one big frame piece. So that's the other cross stitch project that I worked on. Okay, also. Um, and one of my, I don't know how many videos ago this was, after the summer, fall, I went into my cross stitch, my local needlework shop, um, cross stitch covered, met a guy there, um, who is doing a, a project for, uh, the LGT, uh, you know, I can't talk right now, um, Rainbows for Comfort and Peace. Rainbows for Peace and Comfort. I'm dyslexic. It's one or the other. Please look it up. He has a Facebook group. Um, I planned... I should have six of these done already. I don't. It's been about six months since I met him. I only have one. And there's several free designs. This is the one I chose to do. I'm going to do at least two more in black and three on white and that will be my contribution to his project. He's putting together a quilt for the victims of the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando for the LGBTQT community. There, I got it out. Um, what else have I worked on? Okay, I did bring these books. Okay, um, There was supposed to be something going on where I needed to get some gifts made, which I did get the gifts made, but um, they're being saved for later, so I hope these people don't see these this video at all. I hope no one, no one on my, I don't advertise Flossdube on my Instagram because I have friends and family on there and I don't want them to see all of the things that I'm making for them. So anyway, uh, the, this is for a little girl in my life. Uh, this is out of the just, no, the World of Cross Stitching Magazine. I don't know what issue. This is the issue. And here it is. And that's her name. I found that alphabet in some other alphabet book I had. I just added on there. I believe they're birthday cards, but I changed the letter. I mean, I just like made it a little personalized. Um, this is one of those... It said, Hello Spring Inside. Um, it's from Joann's. I got it in clearance after their spring sale. I painted it pink. I stuck the glittery paper and then mounted the unicorn on there. I love it. I love how it turned out. Um, that little girl has a little brother, a little boy in my life that I'm also, I also made something for. And this is out of this magazine, The World of Cross Stitching. And it's this alphabet that you, it's, came as either a train or the trucks. This one said, Happy Easter, I believe, this frame. And I painted the inside blue, left the outside white because it has this, like this jute thing and it's a boy, so I kept it very simple. Um, for the little girls, when I, for this one, I plan on adding, I forgot to tell you this, I plan on adding like some bows and embellishments to the top before I actually give it to her. But I just wanted to show it to you. For the boy, I don't plan on putting anything on here. 
if I do find like maybe a little truck or something I could I'll glue it on but right now I like it the way it is very simple um, cute design and again this is from the world of cross stitching magazine so I believe I did that in April I don't know the days the month the week everything everything is all a blur it's all combined to me right now I just know I no longer know what what is what and uh, it is what it is another project whips what else have I worked on um, this was the Indian lady in blue sari no I'm sorry Indian lady of blue sari is hanging up over there Indian lady in orange sari um, she is a Lenart I, the last time I showed you, I believe I had just her face, not much more. That's where she's at right now. So that is one whip that I worked on. Another whip that I worked on since I last saw you, this was my new year, new start. Bird of Happiness, Riolus. And this is what I have on it so far. Not much. My mania did not go the way I intended it to go. I definitely did not get to stitch as much as I wanted to, but I did what I could. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably kept up and seeing what I did. But um, I know stitchers always say we didn't get to stitch as much as we wanted to, but yeah, I, f I feel that way for sure. Uh, another whip that I worked on, and you probably haven't seen this one in a while. This is Birds of a Feather. It's a Jan Lin kit. I don't know how to do all of these edits, so I can't show you where you last saw it at, but this is where it's at now. Did you guys hear the thunder going on outside? It's about to pour. Um, so yeah, that's my Birds of a Feather, where I got to. So that's another whip. Uh, the other whip that I worked on, and this was one of those, I started it just to start it. In the year of whips video, I showed you guys, my husband brought it from Australia for me for Christmas of last year. And, um, sorry, my zipper, I don't want it to pull the threads. And um, I've been working on it a little bit more in earnest because I want him to buy me the Chatelaine. Um, the Lotus Pond, Rajasthan Lotus Pond that is stitched too far, Ingeborg is stitching. I really want that for Christmas. I want a Chatelaine. Well, I mean, I have the pattern. I want to start working on it. But I want the kit, the full kit from European Cross Stitch. And um, if I finish this, my husband will buy it for me. So this is also a Lenart called Asian Couple. This is something he gifted to me and told me I better finish it if I want him to buy me any more cross stitch. So when I last or first showed you guys this thing I had just a tiny little section right here that that's all I stitched and this is it that's where I got to now that's the top of the page um, I'm starting on and you could see the outline of the woman's face and the man's face on top so there's definitely been some progress, but again, I have not been able to stitch as much as I wanted to. Life is not cooperating at the moment. Oh, I dropped my scissor, but that's okay. So that is all the whips that I have worked on, and that's all the stitching that I've done completed. I do have some new starts to tell you about, and that is from Stitch Mania. Um, First, this, my son, my eldest, is going to be graduating in August from the University of Central Florida, and I decided to do this for him. This is also a Janlin kit, since it's University of Central Florida, which is near Orlando, Disney. Uh, I felt a Walt Disney quote would be appropriate. Um, of course, Christopher Robin's name is going to be not there, and it's going to be my son's name. Um, the quote will be there, and I wanted to put in uh, the initials UCF on the book's 
somewhere. How much have I done, you want to know? Yeah, not much. Not a whole lot going on on this yet. Um, will I be done for August to give my son? No, 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 no. It's not happening, but I will do it for him. Um, I will attempt to work on it a little bit more in earnest. It's just... Like I said, life is not cooperating at all, so things just have not been happening. My other Stitch Mania starts. Let me grab those. My in-laws are having their 50th anniversary next year. I decided I wanted to do this for them. Change to 25 into 50. This is what I have done on it. Again, life is not cooperating. When I do have time, I'm not in the mood to do certain things. It's just the way it is. I don't know what to say. May 1st, Stitch Mania. This is my start. This is what I wanted to start, and I did. It's owned by Alexandra Adelaide. And I hope I said that right. Ain't a whole lot on this, people. That's it. That's my Stitch Mania start. And, um, yeah. <laughs> that's it. So, that's I stitched on it that first day, and that's it. And since May was having, the, the way the month was going, I really didn't do a start every day. What I did was four for the whole month. So those were two. You saw the anniversary, and... Ohm from that was the Adelaide, the one I just showed you. I also found this. Um, what's her name? I was watching a video last year, I want to say Magic Pond Crafts. Yorgita, Yorgita, I believe her name is Magic Pond Crafts. She's Eastern European, Ukraine, Yugoslavia, I don't know. Um, she follows the Russian, she, she speaks other languages, so she, she had this from a Russian, she bought this pattern from a Russian seller, who I follow, I then found and followed on Instagram, and contacted her, Kuklova Stitch, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to say this stuff, um, and I contacted her and got this from her online, the little PayPal transaction. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to stitch it, so I did start it. Anyhow, uh, that's my start. So that's all I have on that. That was, I believe, the second or third week of May. And my last stitch mania. Oh, wait, I found the book. Oh, you guys, see, see, see. Okay. The mini samplers. This stuff. This thing. The mini samplers. This is the book I got it from. It's called Four Seasons. The entire poem, when all the four seasons are together, it says, From the garden they awake, flower bouquets for to make, sunshine luster, high and bright, berries gleam with glistening light, hard work, hat no measure, now we harvest our treasure. Days grow short, long shadows cast, a season's sleep here at last. So I can't show you the back because it like has just like patterns. Um, but you can stitch them four ways and then they have the whole poem in one thing too. So I'm doing it this way. Um, instead of the one thing. I like the little mini sampler thing. So yeah. So that's, see, I did keep the book. I knew I brought it. Okay. Um, the last start of Stitch Mania is out of the world of cross-stitching magazine. I decided that I wanted to finally make my first this core new. And I am doing the lemons. So, that's it, people. That is absolutely everything I have stitched on. Um, 
I've done some sewing. I've done some knitting. And I'll show you my knitting in a second and what I've been working on. Do I even have it? Why do I keep... Oh. I didn't want to get up. Well, Hitchhiker Scarf is done and it's in the room, but I don't feel like getting up. I'm very lazy right now. And I'm not properly dressed, probably from the waist down. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so we'll skip that. But uh, right now I'm working on... This is one of those cupcake balls of yarns. Karen inspirations, I believe. Karen something. Anyway, it's a triangle, triangle scarf that I'm doing. Very simple, mindless pattern. I started it, I don't know when. Stitching on it when I feel like it. Um, it's been rough, people. It really has been a rough time. And um, I'm just trying to get through this as best as possible. Um, without, you know, losing my sanity and my mental health. Our mental health is very important. Um, we have, we have to, have to, have to take control of our mindset and our mind state. When we are down, we have to realize we have to be the ones, we're the only ones who can get ourselves out of these things. And we're going to have to beat our demons and fight them, all those internal thoughts that make you doubt yourself and question everything, you know. You just gotta do what you gotta do, man. Day by day, one at a time, just just get through it. And that's what I am trying to do, is just get through it. So, that's everything. I'm gonna continue to craft, I'm gonna continue to be stitching. Um, I'm expecting family, well, there's family coming, arriving tomorrow, so, you know, <laughs> well, there's that, then there's my son's graduation beginning of August um, I don't know when my next video will be again I only will make these videos when I have things to show you guys it really shouldn't have been that long I mean I that's like two sets of things I could have showed you I did it very quickly because I you know I like to keep my videos short but I could have definitely made two videos from the amount of stuff I had and when I finished these things um, I just I just have not been able to get to it um, mood's not been there, you know, like, my hair has been a hot mess, I haven't been doing anything to myself, and, you know, I decided today's the day I'm just gonna put on some lipstick and come here to you guys and make this video, so, here I am, and that's what I did. Alrighty, enough babbling, um, passing the stash, which I am trying to continue to clear out my house, you know, shit, I didn't check to see how many subscribers I have, do I have 500? I probably do. Um, I'm gonna do something for that in my next video, because I wanted to think about that a little bit more, um, you know, what I would offer. So for right now, um, I'm just gonna offer up one pass to Stash. Please do not mention the G word, you know the deal. This is Debbie Mum Spring, little mini banners. I have all of them, all four, all seasons, and I happen to have two of this spring one. So, if anyone is interested in spring, I know spring is over, but hey, um, you can do it and have it ready for next year. So, it comes with, I believe, everything. Is there a hanger in there? Yeah, there's a hanger, there's... I've never opened it, so yeah, everything should be in here. Hanger, floss, um, let's see, what should I ask? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me, just tell me, tell me your silliest joke that you know. Just tell me a joke. I need to laugh. Um, I've been entertaining myself watching on Instagram all these vines and, you know, funny AF videos, um, just to entertain myself, and, uh, I really haven't had time to be in front of a computer to watch YouTube videos. Maybe I should, I'll probably pick up my spirits again, so yeah, why don't you guys just tell me, give me a joke, tell me something to make me laugh. Um, so yeah, just say I would like... Spring, 
And here's my joke. Um, if you feel like commenting. Um, other than that, I think this is it. It's been 40 minutes. It's long enough. Um, I'm not in the best of moods, but like I said, I wanted to make this video and just get it out the way and be done with it. Um, I feel guilty for holding my last giveaway hostage. I feel guilty for not watching you guys' videos. I feel like I'm using you guys to just to give me some validation at this moment, but that's it is what it is. I, I needed to do this right now. Um, this is my release, crafting. And, you know, hey, create. That's all I can say. Create, create every single day. Create your reality, create your future, create your life, create, create make things happen be the change do it just make it happen so day by day anyhow people that is it thank you to everyone who is a subscriber thank you for coming back to watch me putting up with me thank you to anyone who's new and coming to my channel for the first time oh my gosh i actually did write something down. um people there's so many people that i wanted to shout out and i i again so, I just wanted to say, uh, Long Dog Stitcher, Long D-A-Double-G, D-A-W-G, Long Dog Stitcher. Girl, thank you, I owe you some watches. Backward Stitcher, I owe you watches. Stitchy May, Crafty Magpie, Lose Cross Stitch, Stitchy Shannon, um... Just so many. Sarah, did you make a video? I don't even know, girl. Um, I owe you if you did. Um, I did find, who was it? Is it Calico? I never, I just discovered her back in, in it had to be been April when I was watching videos. I recently discovered her. Um, Xemityville, Xemityville Stitcher. Uh, Oh my god. Uh, there are so many people. Uh, can I can't even read my handwriting. I just dribble, scribble names of people that I watch at the time. Top Knot Stitcher, Stitching Social, Amy Loves Toad, Stitch All the Things. Of course, I watch Stitcher Vista, Pam and stuff. Again, these are all up until April. I'm completely slacking May and June. So I'm going to catch up from the last one. Um, of course, Priscilla and Chelsea, Pam and Steph, Crafty Corner, Kay's Cross Stitch. No, Pam's Crafty Corner. See, I'm mixing up. Pam and Steph is just Stitch All the Things. Pam is Pam Crafty Corner. And then there's also a Pamela Peden, who I think is the book corner. So many Pams. I'm confused sometimes. Um, who else did I watch? Um... Rose City Stitcher, Leah Noel, uh, uh, I don't know, Creatively Yours, uh, Ex Tifa, Tony Walker, uh, Harriet, Cindy's Cross Stitch, I'm trying to think and I can't read my own head, this is what my notes look like people, it's like all scribbles, um, yeah. Uh, K's Cross Stitch Corner. Yeah, I need to watch all these retreat videos. Stitch Too Far, Orietta, Stitch and M, girl. Congratulations on the house move. I haven't even seen. I don't know if you moved in already yet. No, I did see. You did move in on Instagram. Yes, you hit your head, you poor thing. Um, uh, I am so back words on videos. I am trying to find, well not find, I don't try. If I run across your name on Instagram, I will follow you. I don't go actively see seeking out people I watch on Flustube. But if um, I'm watching and I see you, I will definitely subscribe. Hey, I know that person I watch on Flustube. Like, hey Robert, Palace of Stitches. Um, oh my gosh, that Stitch along with the quilts. I, w I didn't get to start it. That was a Stitch Mania plan. I was going to definitely do it. It didn't happen. Um, I don't know when I'll start it. Start. Start it. See, I, I'm rambling still. Okay, 45 minutes. Okay, I think that's it. 
Um, I'm done talking. I can't mention everyone who I watch. I owe you all a bunch of likes. I owe you all a bunch of views. I will get to it when I get to it. I thank you in advance for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. I highly recommend you hit that bell icon for a notification when I make a video because I don't do this often. I don't have like a regular routine so you know to expect one from me every week. Like on Michelle Bendy, I think she does hers on Tuesdays or they do a stitch with me on Fridays or you know Saturday for Priscilla and Chelsea. So everyone has a certain day. I am not that. I don't have a day, a week, a month. So hit that bell icon because whenever I make a video, be it a month from now or two months from now, you'll know. Um, same thing with this. Feel free until I, I guess, make a video. You, it's open because I don't know. Um, that's it, people. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to this community for providing an outlet to, for me. Um, and I have no one to talk cross-stitch with other than you guys. Um, I appreciate all the love I ha I get from you guys on Instagram. Uh, Sarah shares, Sarah shares, Jilly Pepper. Uh, those are all the usernames. Wild, wild, wild eye stitching child. Oh gosh, there's so many awesome people on Instagram that I follow. Um, I love what you do, and yeah. So feel free to follow me on Instagram again. Please be warned, it is my personal account where I. S Put out my opinions. I will never go on someone's page and criticize their opinions, but I am free to post whatever I would like on my page, and a lot of people may be offended by what I post on my page. I am sorry you are, but you don't have to be on my page. I will never come to your page and criticize anything that you do or say on your page. That's all on you. If I follow you, I will like what I like, and I ignore the rest. Same thing applies to me. You like what you like on my page and you're free to ignore the rest. Um, I cook, I do other things besides cross-stitch. I'm a very vocal activist type personality. Um, you may not agree with my politics, my social and my religious and whatever. You don't have to be into that. If you like my cross-stitch, you like my cross-stitch. You like my knitting, you like my knitting. That's how I approach my social media experience on Instagram. And the same with Floss Soup. I watch videos. If I don't like what someone is saying for whatever reason, which I haven't found any videos that I haven't like anything anybody said, I will just skip it and go on to the next. Um, person does not offend me. None of that stuff. If you're offended by things like that, don't don't bother. Don't bother coming to my page or bother watching my video. That's all I have to say about it. I'm me. I'm real. It is what it is, and you take it or you leave it. So, um, thank you, Floss Soup. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, and. That's it for now until I see you again. Have a good one.